It all started when Captain Haddock and I joined our old friend Professor Calculus in Sildavia. So that is Tintin and Haddock. Don't worry, Chief. We keep good tabs on them. That car bothers me. It's been following us ever since we left the airport. Something doesn't seem right here. Glad you could come, Colonel Jarga. I understand Tintin is involved with the space program. I have waited a long time for my revenge. What about the supplies, Wolf? Uh, almost ready, sir. I, I'm just waiting for a special delivery. Well, Colonel Jorkin, are you ready for your mission? Absolutely. I have everything under control. In exactly three hours, there will be a very special delivery to the moon rocket. Excellent. And so early one morning, Captain Haddock, Professor Calculus, Mr. Wolf, and I prepared to embark on the most exciting adventure of all, a trip to the moon. Farewell, Earth! Five, four, three, two, one, zero. to Earth. Come in, please. We request an update on our position. Moon rocket, you have just cleared the Earth's magnetic field at a speed of 13 kilometers per second. Congratulations, Professor. Everything has gone exactly as you planned it. <sighs> what is it, Professor? Are you ill? No, Wolf. It's relief. Just imagine if we'd made a mistake on the figures. Then we wouldn't be here to talk about it. My dear fellow, if it were only that simple, but it's far more serious than that. We'd have to start our calculations all over again. Thundering typhoons. Uh, yeah. Fine, then. Uh, uh, Captain, why don't you try to relax? 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 How am I supposed to relax stuck in this tin can? But, Captain, think of it. We're going to the moon. It's a dream come true. A dream? All this mumbo-jumbo and jiggery-pokery is no dream of mine. Just give me the first piece of solid rock that comes along. Ah! Ah, here you are. Whatever happened? An earthquake? Earth to moon rocket. What's going on up there? We hear strange voices. Everything's okay, Control. It's Detectives Thompson and Thompson. They managed to get themselves stuck on board. What? Oh, no! What in the blistering blue blazes are you two doing here? We decided to make one final inspection before takeoff. Speaking of takeoff, what time is it? It's 2 a.m. Fine. Plenty of time. That is, if the launching's still set for 1.34. The rocket left Earth half an hour ago. We're on our way to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> to be precise, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is a joke. You're trying to frighten us, right? You, you, you just told us the launching was scheduled for 1.34 p.m., right? A.M., not P.M. A.M.? Hmm. This poses a bit of a dilemma. We assessed our oxygen supplies for four people. Now there's six. You hear that, you dinosaurs? We're gonna run out of oxygen all because you can't tell the difference between morning and night. Misery of miseries. Stop sniveling like that. You're making carbon dioxide. I'm going below. I've got important work to do. And don't you come down gulping up my oxygen. Good old Snowy. I don't mind sharing my air with you. You need to be alone to understand a subject like this. It takes a lot of concentration. Ah, a nice cool drink would go down well. Oh, my. Unless I'm dreaming, I'm looking at Adonis. Who's Adonis? A friend of yours? Adonis is an asteroid, a dwarf planet approximately a mile in diameter. Here, see for yourself. But whatever you do, don't 
touch anything. A mistake right now could pull us right into that asteroid. Amazing! So that's Adonis. Thompson, take a look at this. Watch your cane! To the moon! Huh? Thundering typhoons. Get back in my glass this minute. Blistering barnacles. What's happening? When you pull that lever, you stop the nuclear engine. The constant acceleration is what created our artificial gravity. Without that gravity, we float! Please, Professor, not a physics lecture now. We must restart the mode. I'll try to get to it. Whoa! Whoa! I got it! I can just about reach it. If I touch you, Snowy, you're in! Uh-oh. Steady on. <laughs> Got it. Hold on, everybody. Holding on. Look, Snowy, it's magic. No. <laughs> Funny, we were holding on tight. Earth to moon rocket, what's happening up there? Moon rocket to Earth, one of the detectives accidentally shut off the motor, but we've started it up again. Over and out. What will those two bunglers do next? If the motor is shut down again, these magnetic sole boots will prevent us from floating. Hmm. There are six pairs of boots and six people on board, so why am I holding an extra pair? They must be the captains. I'll give them to them. Hello, Snowy. <coughs> are you all right? And you, Captain? Now, where has he disappeared to? What's this? Great snakes! Professor, come quick! <coughs> Ouch! I'd better rework the design on these boots. Professor Calculus, the captain's gone. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That alarm means the outside door's been opened. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Read this. Dear everyone, I'm fed up with your silly rocket. I'm going home. Good gracious. Earth to moon rocket. Earth to moon rocket. Come in, please. Why have your engines stopped again? Moon rocket to Earth. The captain has left the rocket. We're stopping so that Tintin can find him. What next? La -di -da, la -di -da. I see him, Professor. Ahoy, land lover! I'm making my way over now. Be careful, Tintin. Don't let him drift too far. We're dangerously close to that asteroid. Captain, can you hear me? Of course I can hear you. What do you think I am? Deaf? I'm going to shoot you a line. Grab hold of it so I can pull you back on board. Forget it. I'm not going back onto that rocket. If I fire over him, maybe he'll float into it. I'm going home. Oh, no. It's going to miss him. Tintin, you must hurry! The rocket is entering Adonis's magnetic field! We're going to be pulled into orbit! Captain, you heard that! Please, come back before it's too late! Come back? Not on your life! Look! Home! I'm going! Oh, oh no! He's been pulled into orbit! Captain!
I'm going to try to launch the grappling hook towards the rocket and catch on to the ladder. Tintin. Oh, forget it, Captain. Can you ever forgive me? Of course, but please try and be more careful in the future, Captain. You could have killed us all. <sighs> Rocket to Earth. Tintin and the Captain are safe inside, resuming our course to the moon. There's no excuse. I'm just a miserable... Ah! Now what? Come, quickly! Huge yellow caterpillars! What? Great snakes! Thompson and Thompson! <laughs> They're experiencing another attack of Formula 14. Oh, yeah. The pills from Chemodite. Land of the Black Gold. <laughs> I've concocted an antidote from the rocket's emergency supplies. I'm not sure if it will be successful, but at least our friends are not in pain. Fortunately not. None at all. <laughs> yes! Snowy! Snowy, let go! Hold on, detectives! And when anyone asks me later on, Haddock, what was your job on the rocket? I'll say, me? Why, I was the hairdresser. Thundering typhoons. A mop like this doesn't need a pair of scissors, it needs a lawnmower. <laughs> What's so funny? If you think you look more dignified than your esteemed colleague, you got another thing coming. Oh. There. That's finished. Ow! Oh. Look! Ah! <laughs> Earth to moon rocket. Stand by for turning operation. Ready to cut the nuclear motor? Ready. Prepare for the countdown. Down, bristlebacks, centipedes, shaggy-haired dogs! Rah! Captain, we're about to cut the engines. Have you got your magnetic boots on? What's he talking about? These boots, they stop you from floating. Yours are over there. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Sit down! Blistering barnacles! Earth to moon rocket. Stand by to start directional thrust.
Seven degrees to the east. Perfect. We are now directly above the Hipparchus Crater. Tintin to Earth, we're making final preparations for landing. The professor is now setting the automatic pilot. <coughs> what are you doing? Preparing to lie down, but we refuse to sleep in our clothes. Hurry, gentlemen, we're landing on the edge of the Sea of Nectar any minute. Did you hear that? The seaside. How exciting. Moon rocket to Earth. We have entered the moon's magnetic field. We are all lying flat on our bunks. The air pressure is tremendous. It's an effort to make the slightest movement. Snowy are getting ready to set foot on the moon. Fine. But what's that strange rumbling noise? Rumbling noise? Uh, oh, a couple of our passengers are having a nap. This is Tintin. Ready to record my first impressions of the moon. Ready, Snowy? <laughs> We're ready, Captain. Roger, Tintin. Depressurizing now. <laughs> Stand by. Opening door. It's a very solemn moment. The outside door is opening now. Wow! It's incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. No trees, flowers, not even a blade of grass. No life, no cloud. It's silent. There are thousands of stars, but they're frozen, motionless. They don't twinkle like they do on Earth. I'm descending the ladder now towards the moon. Three rungs left. One. Zero. I've done it. Hang on, Snowy. We're about to make history. Scientific? Nitwits? 
Nincompoops. My word. 